Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we will be doing a speed test comparison of two devices in the 25 to 30,000 price segment in India. We have the newly launched IQ Z7 Pro with the Dimensity 7200 chip and we also have the segment uh, leader or the most powerful device in the segment, the Poco F5 with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 mobile platform. So these are two devices uh, in the 25 to 30,000 price segment. In fact, uh, the IQ Z7 Pro comes below the 25,000 price segment uh, while uh, this is slightly above uh, uh, the 25,000 price segment in fact around 28,000 but uh, both of these devices uh, are quite good in their hardware uh, both of these devices come with Android 13 out of the box and uh, we have two custom UIs we have the uh, Fun Touch OS 13 while this is the Mi UI for Poco now both of these devices have really good uh, uh, UI experience as well so let's see how good the performance is on these two devices um, and uh, let's see how good the memory management is so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so we have the two devices with us so let's uh, first take uh, the about device uh, so let's take here IQ Z7 uh, Pro uh, with the Dimensity 7200 Android 13 out of the box and here we have MIUI for Poco and uh, we have the Poco F5 with uh, uh, the Snapdragon 7 Plus uh, Gen 2 mobile platform now both of these are Android 13 so let's uh, see how good the experience is on these two devices so you can see that now uh, both the devices are in uh, uh, the airplane mode so let's just set uh, you can see here both are in airplane mode and uh, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as well so that's the uh, hardware right now now let's uh, see uh, the background apps so let's just clear off all the background apps here so now you can see here both the devices we have uh, cleared off all the background apps so there you go so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which opens uh, these games uh, faster and also the apps so there you go so let's see which opens asphalt 9 faster so poco f5 has uh, opened the game uh, faster than uh, uh, the uh, iq z7 pro next is uh, call of duty let's see which opens this faster so once again i uh, poco has taken the lead here so poco has lo loaded this much faster than the iq z7 pro next is the play store once again uh, you can see that poco is slightly faster chrome browser So once again uh, Poco is faster, Facebook, once again Poco is faster, Twitter, here uh, IQ was slightly faster in loading, Instagram, once again uh, Poco is faster, Spotify, again uh, Poco is faster. Next is Amazon, again you can see here the response time itself is uh, faster on Poco, now Flipkart again now you can see here poco is faster file manager once again poco is faster settings again now poco is faster youtube once again you can see here poco is faster gmail again uh, poco is faster camera poco is faster and finally maps so here also you can see here poco is faster so poco has uh, uh, completely beaten the iq uh, 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 Z7 Pro in terms of uh, opening of apps quite obvious because this is the Snapdragon 7 Plus uh, Gen 2 mobile platform which is much fa faster than the uh, the Dimensity 7200 so let's uh, go to the memory management so let's open the apps in the reverse order so camera available in the memory so as of now all the apps are available in the memory Flipkart Amazon so Amazon has been reloaded on the IQ Z7 Pro Spotify again this has been reloaded here Instagram both have reloaded Instagram Twitter again uh, both have uh, reloaded Facebook here you can see here now Chrome browser again it has been reloaded on the Poco I mean uh, IQ Z7 Pro Play Store available on both the devices call of duty again uh, reloaded on both the devices so none of these devices are really great in terms of memory management 
uh, once again Poco has loaded it faster so now finally uh, asphalt 9 so asphalt 9 is available on both devices that's quite surprising uh, rest of all the games have uh, been reloaded i mean uh, in fact the uh, call of duty was reloaded so that was uh, the speeder so opening of apps obviously poco fy is so faster but in terms of memory management neither of these devices are really great now let's go to the speed test so this is the network uh, speed so let's uh, see here so let's start with uh, so we just connected to the same server so let's start with the uh, iq z7 pro So you can see that quite similar speed. So nothing much to differentiate. The both are quite similar speed here. So almost a similar experience. Next is the Antidu benchmark score. So we have just tested the Antidu benchmark score on both the devices. So you can see here six uh, lakh ninety thousand, almost close to seven lakh. While this is almost close to eleven lakh. So. Uh, more than a 40 percentage increase in terms of uh, uh, the cpu score and the gpu score you can uh, see that uh, cpu gpu is much much higher uh, on the poco fi uh, the memory and other scores uh, you can see so that was the benchmark and you can see that uh, the poco fi is a clear winner now storage test uh, here we have a ufs 2.2 storage in the iq neo 7 pro or rather iq z7 pro while here we have ufs 3.1 uh, storage support so 2.2 versus 3.1 and that uh, definitely shows up you can see here 44,000 and 76,000 is the score score let's finally go to the geekbench test and uh, see uh, the scores here the geekbench score So now we completed uh, the Geekbench 6. You can once again see here 1148 is the single core score, 1654 and 2605 is the multi core score, while this is 4325. So again, uh, drastic difference between these two devices in terms of the benchmark score. So obviously, in terms of uh, performance, the Poco FI uh, is the better device out there. So that was a quick speed as comparison of the Poco FI with the iQ Z7 Pro. So in terms of raw performance, obviously, the Poco FI uh, is the better choice because the snapdragon 7 plus uh, gen 2 is a terrific device a uh, terrific uh, uh, chip uh, for at least for the below 30,000 price segment so that makes poco f5 really great but iq uh, z7 pro is also really great in terms of design looks very slim design uh, pricing is also lesser compared to the poco f5 and uh, it's a quite good chip and also you get uh, quite similar camera setup as well so that was the speedest comparison uh, so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day